What's happening everyone? Hope you're having a great day. So today, Tuesday, we're going to take care of a little viewer question. I'm going to try to do these a little bit more on Tuesday, directly answer your questions. So leading into our live stream, which is tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern, we can talk about this. Now, this is always a fun one and my answer has actually changed. So what do I think is the biggest bang for your buck when it comes to trim level with the Tundra? Now, obviously all these answers, very subjective. Everyone's gonna have a different opinion, but just going off of the vehicles I've been in or the trim levels of Tundras I've been in, the pricing and everything, I have changed my answer. So normally I would always say that the Limited was the biggest bang for your buck because you still get that sportiness of the SR5, um, but you get a little bit more of a luxury feel because you start getting leather, an available JBL system, things like that, so you're starting to move up into the area of you know the premium luxury tundras without spending all the money well in 2018 the prices have definitely gone up a little bit on the tundra so now all the prices are so close together that if you have the means why not look into a platinum or 1794 now coming from someone like me that have driven and owned a bunch of sr5s a trd pro which is a glorified sr5 when it comes to how they build the package my father has a 2018 Limited, so I've been in that now, and having a Platinum like we have outside. The Platinum gives you so much for the amount of money. Now, let me just show you a little something real quick. I went on and I did a very quick run through of just a couple local dealerships, kind of got a median of what the MSRP on some of these trucks are nowadays to show you what I mean. So uh, an SR5 TRD Crew Max right now is 46K, so $46,000, $47,000. Uh, limited is 49 and a 1794 or platinum is 51 to 53 now it might be completely different in your area don't take those numbers to heart I'm just trying to show you how close everything is now so 46 to 53 now if you do your research and you go online and look around to your local dealers and get some good connections going or if you drive by the same dealer every day and see that one platinum or 1794 has been sitting there for six months that's a lot of power in your hands, okay? And that's when you could talk down that price quite a bit. Now, mind you, these are just what the stickers are saying. So obviously you can negotiate down the price. But in this range, 46K for an SR5 TRD with the TRD Off-Road Package Crew Max versus 51,000 for a 1794 or a Platinum. Now the difference in luxury features and features in general is immense, okay? The thing I love about the Platinum, I'm gonna use the Platinum now because the 1794, this doesn't exactly work, but think of the 2018 Platinum. It's mostly body color, they got the new grill. Um, let me just make sure the camera is on this good so I can point this out one sec. Cause I got, okay, so you see, this is the grill from the 2017 Platinum, okay? Obviously it has, you know, the silver look to it, but if you look at the 2018 grill, it's all blacked out, it's like a honeycomb look to it. It's really sweet. So a lot of it is body color. There is some chrome on it. You get the mirror caps, the door handles, but it's a lot less chrome. So a lot of times in all the brands, when you move up into a luxury truck, a luxury trim, it's very bling. It's very like, look at me. Well, that's the best part about the Platinum is it's still a Tundra and it still has kind of a, not very much of a look at me type feel to it, if you know what I mean. You just get a lot more stuff on the inside. You get premium leather. The leather is fantastic. Heated, cooled seats, JBL sound system. In 2018, the moonroof is now available. It's not on everyone. Um, you get a lot of stuff in there. Puddle lights. Uh, there's just so much. It's hard to list everything. Um, dual climate control, digital readout climate control, the Entune premium, um, just a lot. You get a good amount in there, but that's what I'm saying. Like the prices are so close now that if you're already up in this high 40s area, if you do your research correctly, you go to a dealership, instead of going for that SR5 TRD Crew Max or that limited Crew Max, why not try to deal down a Platinum and get a Tundra that is loaded with everything that's available in the Tundra? Or if you're into that Western look, why not the 1794? Heck, the 1794 also has a TRD off-road package truck as well, which kind of takes a little bit of that chrome away. You don't get the big bling wheels. You start getting the 18 inch TRD wheels, which are a lot nicer. You get the all-terrain Michelin tires. So there are ways here to get what you want in the upper trim level. Now, when it comes to the TRD Pro, it's I'm not really including that in this because the TRD Pro always has the market adjustment values on it and all that. 
Um, you know, the dealer add-on pricing and all that. So we're not even going to talk about the TRD Pro now because the sticker on a TRD Pro may say 47000 but some dealerships will ask for fifty-seven to sixty just because of the demand, which you know I'm completely against, but that is for another video for another time. So for me, the biggest bang for your buck with the pricing today in 2018 with the Tundras has got to be the 1794 in Platinum. They're just too close to maybe not pay a couple extra thousand to get to that top trim level. Now again, everybody's different, like I said, so I wanna hear what you guys think. What is the biggest bang for your buck nowadays in the Tundra uh, trim level range? I'd love to hear. If you're, you know, you don't wanna spend that kind of money, and trust me, a lot of us don't wanna spend that kind of money. The SR is still down in the high 30s, around $37,000. There obviously are double cabs out there. The double cab SR5, you're looking at 44. Um, when I bought my double cab 2014 SR5 TRD, it was 40,000 in 2014. Okay, and now they're about 44. So the prices have definitely gone up. So this is just a rough idea of pricing. Don't take it to heart. It's going to be different everywhere you look. But pretty much the moral of this story is if you are in the market for a Tundra, do your research at your local dealerships and look for one of the trucks. If you're not specific on uh, options, if you're not specific on color, meaning the add-on stuff like step boards and all that that you could do later, check it out, see what truck has been sitting there a while, and that's the one. They don't want trucks sitting on their lot or cars for a long time. They want to move the inventory to get fresh inventory in there. So those are the trucks you want to focus on. And if you see a Platinum or 1794 that's been sitting there a long time, that might be the one for you. If you're worried about add-ons, like you wanted a truck that had all this stuff on it and now you're not going to be able to get it, whatever. Don't forget, we got Sparks Parts, sparksparts.com, Tundra Do 34 promo code. It saves you 5%. They have everything you need. Toyota, TRD, Magnuson Supercharger. They got aftermarket products, BA muffler exhaust systems. They got it all. And the Tundra Do 34 promo code works for it all. So don't worry about adding on stuff now at the dealership. Save yourself money. Just do it later. Um, you know, whatever you guys want. But yes, this is for the live stream tomorrow, which is Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. I can't wait to see you guys. We'll talk about it. But obviously, comment below the video now and let's get the ball rolling. What do you think is the biggest bang for your, excuse me, the biggest bang for your buck when it comes to the trim level for the Toyota Tundra in 2018? Would love to hear from you. So I thank you for watching. Twitter and Instagram at TundraDude34, TundraDude34gmail.com. Good night. Have a good one.